Hey folks, America, Silver Patriot. How's everyone doing? Uh, this here is a Cooter cabin. You know, I about two years ago I got started out here, got off the road, started on this project, and uh, started building this house. Built all this with my own two hands. That's why it's probably leaning, leaning a little. <laughs> but hey, whatever. Uh, yeah, I thought I'd hop on here and do an update. So right now we're completely off grid. This is all runoff solar. Uh, we we just put the paint on the house. We haven't done the trim. The wife didn't like the color for the trim, so we're waiting for a different color. But that's what's going on there. We got all this wood for the front deck given to us by my wife's work. Very nice, Floor Farms. Very nice. Appreciate you. But yeah, we're completely off the grid. And uh, as you can tell right now, I got the 12,000 BTU AC running, cooling the house down. There's Luna Kitty in the, uh, in the window. That's my little baby girl right there. She fell out of the ceiling at, in the milk barn, took her home on the, uh, the lunar eclipse back in, what was that, March? Named her Luna. She's a great little kitty. This one here is a little 6,000 BTU AC. It's just turning on right now. And we're, we're completely off the grid on solar. Uh, I, I really need to get my head out of my ass and get the IBC totes put out here and get my, my water, my water taken care of, my rain water. Uh, get that start getting that collected and uh, we had a bunch of tomatoes in here the wife just ripped them out it's got tomatoes everywhere right now but right now we're waiting for the cantaloupes and those watermelon come on I can't wait yeah we're still under construction you know that's what that's what happens when you work on the house during the weekends after you've worked all week you uh a little wore out and you don't get much accomplished all in one day. So the system right now, system's running great. 95% is what the house is pulling. So I ain't putting out much power. But what is that right there? 61% in the lithiums. Just came out here and uh, I've been brush hogging all week and part of last week. And it's starting to get knocked out. Looks a lot better back here all brush hogged down. And uh, I've got a little over 240 acres to brush hog. But she's coming along. It gets hot in that tractor. Man, it gets hot in that tractor. So I got my panels up on the roof. That's what's running the house, you know. Uh, and the panels out in the front yard. All these panels here runs my bedroom AC unit. This thing right here, I got to do something for winter. Uh, I kind of got this blocked off here just for just for when the wind's blowing. But this is my hot water heater. It's a one of those uh, tankless hot water heaters, right? But I got to do something with it. I got to get it off the side of the house and do something with it before winter time comes. Uh, that's going to be a, a big priority of what's going on. Man, we should have planted them in the ground, huh? Should have planted them in the ground. Oh my. Oh my. Look at that. But yeah, this is the house. I mean, we got a little tiny backyard right here. Oh, if you're thinking, why do you need so many buckets? <laughs> yeah. So this whole house is getting ran off these flooded lead acid batteries. That's what's running the house right now. And it looks with the AC on, we're pulling three amps of power out of them. But it is a very cloudy, overcast day and I only have 18 panels hooked up 
I got a stack of panels over there. I gotta, I gotta get out, and that will really help me through the winter time. So in, in the cooter cabin. This is the cooter cabin. Uh, sorry, I didn't clean up or anything for this. I've got the floors done. Floors came out nice. I like the floors, and it's just pretty much simple in here. You know you got the wood stove for the winter time that ran real good last winter and uh, come out here and watch the uh, the deer and the turkey in the backyard come over here sit on the couch watch all the hummingbirds and the feeders there's a bunch of them just give it time They'll be swooping in. <laughs> Haven't finished the kitchen yet. So I still need to get cabinets for all this. But uh, so far that's all the cabinets we got. Yeah, it's a mess in the sink. This here is the inverter. This is the power station. You know, uh, tells me where I'm at, what the house is pulling, where the battery level is at, and all that. I wanted that in the house and so I don't have to keep running outside just to check on stuff. And then the bedroom is nice and simple. Now nah, it's a mess in here, I know. But got the big old shower going. Got a washing machine. And that's what the buckets are for. Yeah. Not all that bad, not all that bad. But this is the house, everybody. This is the house. So got some cool stuff in here <laughs> the tomahawk yeah but uh spin it spin it spin it but an update on the house I'm sorry I'm moving around and I've never been good with the camera or talking either one but give you all an update see what's going on out here this is the house you know what I mean this is the the big clothesline I got strung all the way across the yard up into the tree for the wife because we don't have the dryer because I got to get the shed built over here and the shed is going to house the dryer and the storage uh, food storage you know and stuff. a lot of storage needs lots of storage over here we're going to get that here built here in the next few months, hopefully before winter time. So I can get a, I have room to put, put stuff, get stuff out of the weather, all that good jive. And if I got any issues, I can always fire up the generator, run the house, put 30 amps into the batteries. There's the front yard display. It's been kicking ass for me, but uh, I didn't really plan it out very well. I got eight panels on the roof of the house. I got 10 panels out here. It's nice that I can increase my volts. But at the same time, I can't just connect this in the combiner box and only use one PV input on the inverter instead of two. But it is what it is. It's working great for me. I still need to go get some more panels put out. I don't know if I'm going to put another five out here or another four out back, one or the other. But this is the house so far, you know. She's she's coming along slowly. It's a mess. I didn't try to clean up or nothing. But I'm comfortable. I'm uh, a lot more relaxed, happier. Uh, life is good. Life is good. Uh, but at the same time... Uh, the atmosphere around is chaotic and best be prepared for uh i don't know what a lot of people what i perceive is coming anyway to everybody it's it's their they have their own perception but it's never really a good outlook but uh either way folks stay vigilant stay prepared this is America, Silver Patriot, signing out.